Hello everyone, I am going to explain question number 3 from exercise 7.6 from class 12. As you can see in the question, in question number 3 we have to verify the Lagrange's mean value theorem for the given function. So today I am going to teach you B part and C part from question number 3. So we will start from B part. In B part the function is fx is equal to x squared minus 4 upon x minus 1 where x belongs between the close interval 0 to 2. So we have to verify the Lagrange's mean value theorem and in my previous video I already explained what are the conditions for Lagrange's mean value theorem. So there are two conditions. First condition is function should be continuous and well defined in the close interval and second condition is function should be differentiable in the open interval. So, we will start from the first condition that is continuous and well defined in the close interval. So, we will first I wrote here the function that is x square minus 4 upon x minus 1. Now, since x belongs from 0 to 2, so for x equal to 1 because 1 is belonging between 0 to 2. So, instead of x if I write here 1 then the function is I wherever x is there I replace it by 1. So, I obtain here. 1 minus 4 upon 0 and we know that any number divided by 0 is infinity. Infinity means not defined. So what we obtained? fx is not defined for x equal to 1 which belongs in close interval 0 to 2. So which implies fx is not continuous in close interval. Now the first condition is not satisfied that's why we are going to stop our solution by writing this that um, Lagrange's mean value theorem is not applicable. I hope it's clear to you. First thing, there are two conditions. First condition is uh, the function should be continuous in the closed interval. Second condition is function should be differentiable in the open interval. Since here, first condition is not satisfied, that's why we not went to the second condition and hence the conclusion. So here directly we had uh, came to the conclusion that Lagrange's mean value theorem is not applicable because function is not satisfying the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So B part completed. Now we will move to the C part. In C part we have the uh, we have the polynomial function and where x belongs between the minus 2 to 3. First I wrote here, here fx is uh, x square minus 3x plus 2. Uh, which implies fx is a polynomial function because uh, the power of x uh, are positive so it's a polynomial function and uh, we all know now that polynomial functions are continuous as well as differentiable for all real numbers so this uh, fact is just write down in your own language as we know that polynomial function is continuous as well as differentiable for every real number so the two conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem, first condition is fx is continuous in close interval minus 2 to 3. The second condition of Lagrange's mean value theorem is fx is differentiable in open interval minus 2 to 3. So these are these two lines are the two conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now since both the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem is satisfied, so both the conditions satisfied. So what the Lagrange's mean value theorem states that then there must exist a point C belongs between open interval minus 2 to 3 such that f dash C is equal to functions value at upper limit minus functions value at lower limit upon upper limit minus lower limit. So if any function is satisfying the Lagrange's mean value theorem then that function must satisfy this relation also. So to set it, now in this we are going to substitute the values. So here we, what we need here f dash c and f3. We need f3 also and we need f minus 2 also. So first we are going to calculate these values and then we will again come back to the equation 1 and we will replace the values. So first I calculated f3. So wherever x is there replace it by 3 and calculate you will get plus 2. And when we need f minus 2, wherever x is there in the given function, replace it by minus 2 and obtain the value that will give us 12. 
and uh, now we need f dash c also for that first we will differentiate first i wrote f x now i differentiated it with respect to x so that i obtained f dash x so here to differentiate it we had used the chain rule uh, we had used the formula x to the power n that is n x n minus 1 so from there x square differentiation is 2x and uh, this 3 is coefficient and x when we will differentiate we will get here 1 so 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 and 2's differentiation is 0 now so we got f dash x now we want f dash c so instead of x here in f dash x replace it by c that will give us f dash c now all these values we will replace in the formula that is f dash c is equal to f3 minus f minus 2 in this we will replace all the values that will give us this line now from here we have to calculate c so just do simple calculations and that will give you c is equal to 0 0.5 now we have to uh, examine whether 0 0.5 belongs in the open interval or not so students the open interval is from minus 2 to plus 3 so of course 0 0.5 belongs between this that's why Lagrange's mean value and for this value of c f dash c is satisfying f3 minus f minus 2 upon 3 minus minus 2 relation so Lagrange's mean value theorem is verified for the given function so I hope it's uh, both the parts that is uh, b and c part of question number 3 is clear to you so here we had used the concept of Lagrangian mean value theorem there are two conditions first condition is uh, the function should be continuous in closed interval second condition is function should be differentiable in open interval and if any function is satisfying then there must exist a point between the given interval where f dash c is equal to functions value at upper limit minus functions value at lower limit upon upper limit minus lower limit Thank you.